Hey guys, I'm gonna talk today about cleaning my uh, Beretta 686 Silver Pigeon. It's been roughly 700 shots that I've shot through the gun and uh, I've been shooting it quite often during the weekends and my scores are getting better uh, shooting international skeet and uh, this is right after today once I was back from the range I thought I would give it a thorough clean again especially focusing on the barrels. Um, here I'm just spraying the barrels through nicely with Ballistol um, general purpose cleaning oil. I'm using my favorite and trustworthy cleaning set here. For the first time I thought I'd just use a Bosch drill. It just makes it easy for me to scrub through the internals of the shotgun barrels. There's a lot of uh, carbon accumulation over the shots that I've shot. I mean, I'm shooting roughly around 125 shots every session and I shot on a Saturday and Sunday as well. So there's a lot of dirt and grime that has been accumulated. I think using this drill with a phosphor bronze brush is uh, quite good and uh, it helps me loosen out all the dirt and uh, give a thorough clean to the barrels. I like using a lot of paper towels, just make a small bundle of paper towels and push it down the barrel to just take out all the grime and dirt which was loosened up with the oil and the phosphor bronze brush. Just kind of flip it over and uh, just repeat the same cycle through the barrel number one. I mean I shoot a lot with the barrel one, typically your first shot is always the barrel one and therefore it, it gets dirtier than the, the top barrel or the barrel two. I am doing the same with the second barrel, the top barrel and uh, you cannot use enough paper towels. My goal here is typically to keep doing and repeating its, uh, this process until I almost have no deposit on the paper towels and they are almost white. Um, not an easy task, I think you'll have to go through several times, but I think a little bit of uh, um, care will go a long way. Just cleaning up the face of the the barrels here also gets quite dirty because of all the carbon accumulation from all the shots that you make. Um, just cleaning off the, the choke um, teeth over there so that they just don't get too dirty and uh, eventually someday I might not be able to take the chokes off. Um, right, just putting some more oil down the barrels the, the barrels were not really clean as much as I wanted them to be, so I thought I'd give it a soak. In the meanwhile, I just removed the grease from the previous lubrication that I've made just to, to give a new healthy coat of um, grease on all the surfaces where there is contact. My gun is pretty... Uh, it's, it's worn in nicely now. It's not so tight as much as it was at the beginning of the beginning of the season when I just had received the gun. Um, it has its now own character and moves in a very comfortable fashion. I really like it. I like to lubricate the action quite well from the inner side and from all the points where there is a lot of friction. So shoot my old rag to just give a very thin coating of oil on the action to prevent it from um, accumulating rust. Which is my second go with the oil sprayed inside the barrel and I think I'm pretty much satisfied with the result I have. Um, just take off some more grease that was there from the last time from the from the the barrel part at the which goes inside the action and put a fresh batch of grease over it. I typically like putting it um, onto the hinge pin and on the sides a little bit on the ejectors so that uh, because that's actually where they come in contact with the action just sprayed some oil onto my rag and i'm just coating a very thin film of oil on the barrels i like to have some paper uh, towels there to not leave any marks of my fingers on the barrel 
also like putting some grease onto the fore and latch, just helps um, with with the, the latch as well a little bit and some final touches of the oil. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. Thanks for your attention.